What is up, everyone? This is K with Skywolf Game Studios, and today I thought I would show you a really badass uh, add-on that I found um, through Blender Market, I believe is where I first saw it. All right, so first off, if you go to skywolfgamestudios.hio, you can check out my projects and assets. Uh, this is my Steam game, Barco and the Lost Bone. It's basically a platformer. It may or may not appeal to you, but um, my goal is to get that out by the end of the year. Uh, and you can check out what it looks like currently. I'm going for a cartoonish retro look. So anyways, so if you scroll down here, you'll find uh, the fourth item down is the Mad Batter. If you click on that, and you scroll down to download the demo. There's a free version of the spike bat. This is what we're going to be using. And the add-on we're looking at is on the Blender Market. It's called UV Flow. I believe it's on Gumroad as well, um, but I bought it through here. Uh, it's 25 bucks, and it's well worth it. Um, and this is a game changer, and I'll show you why. So go ahead and download the free version of the spike bat and open it, unzip it and open it in Blender. It should look something like this. It may look a little different. I kind of forgot what I, when I uploaded it, so it might be slightly outdated. Um, but that is the free version that you're getting. Um, it's just basically this with blank textures. Um, through materials and like it'll probably look like this so I'm just going to delete all this stuff we don't need it um, I'm going to select everything except the bat actually you know what probably better just to hide this with select the bat hide and then now press a and now let's just delete everything and Alt-H to bring that back. Looks like I still got a light in there, that's okay. And then if it's floating in the air, all you have to do is press Alt-G, Alt-R, and that should check the rotation. Um, I'm running on NVIDIA, which will do a weird thing because it's NVIDIA. So to do that the other way, you just go to make sure you have the object selected. Go to object, clear, rotation. You can see, actually see the hotkeys right there as well. And so what we want to do is we want to tab in edit mode and it already has UVs on it, but for the sake of this little quick tutorial, I'm just gonna highlight it, right click and oop, let me switch to edge select. <clears throat> and I'm gonna clear all these seams. So currently it has no seams on it at all. No red marks. And that's normally how you would do this is you'd be like, you'd switch to edge select mode like this, and then you'd right click and then mark seam. And except you need to be in UV editing. And over here, you can already see where I've done it. Um, this is just how I've done it. If you want to do it better, go right ahead. Uh, to me, this was good enough, so I wasn't really too worried about it past that. It basically worked for what I needed it for. Um, and it works in Unreal Engine perfectly fine. Anyways, so let's go back here to layout. Um, and you can actually see I was originally using PBR Painter to try to paint that, because um, that's why that workspace is loaded. I don't know if that'll show up on your end, probably will. Um, you can ignore that or just delete that workspace. Just right click and then delete that. Um, I've actually switched to Fill Logics or however you say it now, um, just because I like the workflow a lot better. And that's just, I'm not knocking PBR Painter at all. That's just my opinion. and. You'll see why in later tutorials. Um, all right, so to get to UV flow, first thing you want to do is, um, let's see here. 
uh, go to the UV Flow on Blender Market and search for it. And then after you buy it, you can just go view to order and then download it. The latest is 9.11. And just go ahead and download that zip file. And I've already got it downloaded. Um, so let's switch back into Blender. Go to File. Uh, wait, sorry. Edit. Not File. Preferences. Select the add-ons and then Install. And then go to Downloads. And then just find it in here. Should be way down at the bottom. Right here. And then install the add-on. Once you do that, I'm going to cancel that because I've already got it installed. It should show up under UV Flow. And then all you have to do is tick this box right here. Uh, mine's already enabled. And then you're good to go. And then now we just press tab to go into edit mode. The easiest way I've found to use this is right here. Cut UV. You got this little toolbar right here. And just click that and it'll turn like this. And basically what this is doing is automatically unwrapping and helping you texture it. So, uh, hold on, let me, yeah. Let me get off of that for a second. Let me just clear this one. Clear scene. There, now we're back to normal. All right, go ahead and click back on. Now, you don't need to do that. I just did that for this. So the way this works is it's got this overlay right here. You can use overlays and you can adjust the size of wherever you click. So if I were to left click right here, it's going to create a new seam and I automatically unwrap that. Um, if you want to turn that off, you can press N and go to toolbar and here's where the tool is. But I usually leave this closed because otherwise it can cause confusion. Um, you can also toggle the UV with right here. Here we are. And that's how do you do that. But the reason why I like this so much is because watch this. Uh, normally, I hate doing UVs, but if I switch right here and I just double click and double click, um, it's automatically like unwrapping the entire thing as I'm going along. So I'm not wasting a lot of extra time. And I'm just going to double click right there. Um, this add on is like the coolest thing ever. In my opinion, I've never seen anything like this. I hate, uh, with a passion, UV unwrapping. Like, it's just, it's one of those things that you're like, oh my god, I gotta get out of bed in the morning. Um, but this thing is just awesome. You can even, um, if you hold down, if you screw up, just hold down Alt. And then double click again, it'll, it'll take it away, it'll remove it. Um, oop. You can also do Control Z if you need to. Um, but I just love this add on, it's great. Uh, because I'm a very visual person, so having something like this in my arsenal is just like the greatest thing ever. Because I was, um, I'm on face, I think. It's still in um, beta, so it might behave a little wonky sometimes. There we go. Um, not quite sure why I was doing that, but oh well. Sometimes it does that. I think that's a glitch in the latest version. It was not doing that before, but we'll get around it. It's it's worth it, trust me. I would not recommend this add-on if I did not believe in it. Um, ignore this over here. I'm just basically going around and 
UV mapping it. And you can do yours however you want if you think you can do it better. I'm just doing this just for show and tell, pretty much. But this is like the coolest thing ever. Oop, oop, not there. That one. But like, if you don't want the checker overlay, you can just click this and it'll go back to normal. Now we can see the red. Uh, I like the overlay though. That's just my preference. If I want to change the size of those, so I have to do is adjust the size and they get bigger. Um, the default is like five, I think. Um, if you don't see the overlay, you can actually adjust it right here on the checker texture. None. Simple. Light. I mean, there's a bunch of options. Blender grid. That's just the one I like the most. Um, but it's pretty much done. Uh, and just going through and doing each of these. Uh, you can also change the color of these if you want. Let me show you. That's what the red right here is. So if I want these to be green. Isn't that cool? Um, what else? Was, oh! The best part is, so for instance, if I have like a really complex part, um, I'll just show it on one of these spikes, for instance, uh, you can actually draw along these two. So I could do this and go all the way around if I wanted. Um, if I hold down Alt, I can erase them. But to me, that is just awesome. It's a huge time saver. And then A, and then U, and V flow unwrap. And that's pretty much it. Um, I just missed a couple here. There we go. And this just helps you put your textures on it. Make sure everything is unwrapped fully. And that way, when you go to texture it or import it into Unreal Engine or something, um, you're good to go. Don't have any problems. Yeah. Excellent. And that one, that's okay though. See, did we get them all? I think. But like you can you can literally look at this and just tell where you've done it versus trying to stare at red. Um and you can change the color easily without having to go hunt. There's a place to do it in Blender, I think it's in the system settings or something. Um, I always left it at the default red, but then this came along, I was like, yes, insta buy. that's a no-brainer. I will leave a description of this and the links to UV Flow, and also a link to the Spike Bad if you want to try it out for yourself. Um, like right here, I messed up, so let's just hold out an alt, double click, and double click there. Um, and I think you will find this add-on to be super helpful. And that's just my thoughts of it anyway. Get, oh, I missed that one. But you can see right now I'm pretty much done. Um, did not mean to do that twice. There we go. think we are done how about that um 
I'm not going to put one right there because this is actually split in the middle. That's why I did that that way. Um, and I'm just going to leave that like that. Um, I just wanted to show you basically how easy this is. And then all you have to do is if your U is a mess over here, just select the whole thing, U, and then you VFlow unwrap. And it actually packs it quite nicely in my opinion and then just go ahead and make sure you save this and then that way you can go ahead and start texturing it um, i hope you found this video useful and subscribed already if you kept going i uh, appreciate the support and you guys have a fantastic day